when the word got out that the dangerous environment that someone was going to get hurt, uh, do you have any sense of feeling there? That that's we we're very concerned about that. Yeah. I ask that question uh, to every every officer uh, that the comment was made that somebody's going to get hurt, and very blunt and direct. I said, you know, uh, you guys have a you sworn. Uh, to your position, you guys carry guns and stuff like that. And the comments back to me from every time I asked that question was that if that comment was made, it was made just in a, on a whim. Nobody has any intentions of doing anything that's, uh, that's going to cause anybody to bother their arm unless it's in the line of duty and they have no other choice than to do that. And I, I, I told them that that was one of the things that uh, this group was, was concerned about and uh, uh, they needed to answer in the, in the affirmative. They said, a couple people said, I keep using the word they and that's not right. It's only a few individuals said that there was sometimes a provocative type of environment uh, from the chief with them. Uh, and it has not, it never got into any physical pushing or shoving or anything like that. Any questions? The, you know, the, the basic premise was intimidation and harassment. And I, I've heard you report um, statements made, perceived, and uh, we see this as uh, a non-fit and a management style. It, do, did you get the feeling that there was an overall intimidation factor, or not an intimidation, or not harassment, uh, or, or? Yeah, I got the feeling. Is this a personality clash? Is basically what I'm saying. There's some of that, but I did get the feeling that there was a a feeling of intimidation on some people's part officers and support personnel um, and that's and I didn't do a good job of explaining that but that's what I meant in terms of um, style and job fit they perceived it that way and when I directly addressed the question with the chief uh, he didn't see it that way and I and I gave examples of how that style had when I first met the chief I had that situation with them in terms of, you know, you've got to tell me how many placards he has on the wall and this type of stuff and going on and on and on and on about this and what he's done and this, that, and the other. And when you talk, when you, when you, when you hear all of this and you hear statements like, I will cut your head off, it's going to be my way or the highway, some people did perceive it that way. There was, a, there was one situation that's worth noting that there was a person that had that situation where they were intimidated up front by the chief. And they decided that uh, they were going to address the situation directly with the chief. Uh, and that relationship is turned completely around in that situation in terms of understanding and that type of so it sounds like communication is a huge issue. I can, I, can, I can say if the situation continues like it is right now, uh, you guys may not have me here talking to you again, but, it, but it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen again. So do you think training and development, if we instituted some, some more advanced of those, that it would help? Or do you think it, it's... The mindset's kind of set, and it's not going to change much. My my impression was that <coughs> that's one thing that I was given to you guys. And the question, the question is, we have a very intelligent, very bright person who probably could write an introduction book to psychology. So will that application take place? It's a question that we need to ask. I think some one-on-one some -on -one sessions with the chief before we get into that. Now, there are some people, like I said before, that 
they just they, they just don't like the chief. Yeah. Well, you said there was the 20% that no matter what, they just didn't. We're never going to like them. Right. Okay. Rick? Mike? Anyone else? Well, the only thing again I can say is just thank you so very much, Lorenzo. We really appreciate it. Uh, thanks again. Okay. Uh, is there any other business to come forward, Council? No, I just wanted to thank Lorenzo, too. It took a lot of time and a lot of uh, due diligence to go do this. And um, like you said, you, you're retired. This is not what you really need to do. So thank you. No other business before the Council. We are adjourned. <laughs>